Okay guys, gonna have a look at two phones today. This is the OnePlus 8 on the right hand side and the OnePlus 8 Pro on the left. The guys at OnePlus have sent us um, some lovely cases to go with it. So you can have a look at those. Um, this is the sandstone bumper case on the left. You can see obviously the camera arrangement is different on the OnePlus 8 Pro. And we've got this carbon bumper case. Um, we also get on the right hand side for the 8, we get a uh, sandstone bumper case in cyan. Uh, they're both cyan, so these are both basically the same. Uh, but this one here is a nylon bumper case, slightly different to the carbon one for the 8 Pro. So we're going to give those a try perhaps in a separate video, but um, let's show you um, the two phones uh, side by side. So they obviously come in exactly the same boxes, and um, I'm going to first do an unboxing of the OnePlus 8 itself, which is here. Uh, this is going to be available in a uh, onyx black and a glacial green, and this is a glacial green version. I have actually taken these cards out because uh, I just wanted to see what they were. Uh, we've got a quick start guide, we've got an invitation lesson, we've got some uh, warranty information and uh, tech support information if you need help. Um, so you just call those. This is the phone itself, beautifully presented. The uh, the guys from OnePlus really do present their phones very well indeed. Um, here's the phone, and uh, that's where those cards came from. Uh, let's have a look at the box, and we got that infamous red warp charge cable here, um, and it comes with the bumper case here. This this sort of flexible case that can go over it, and you've got never settle written on there which hopefully you can see maybe in the dark if I put my hand behind it you can see that and that can go on the phone to protect it because it is very shiny I'll show you in a minute uh, how shiny it is this red cable again it's beautifully presented in the box as per normal it's not just duffed in there or cable tied together or cable twisted together this is actually presented very very well indeed and we've got the 30T warp charge 30T um, charger it does look a bit bul bulky uh, but definitely keep and use this one and it will charge due to its 5 volts and 6 amps uh, output it will charge this incredibly quickly uh, it means it goes from 0 to 50% in just 22 minutes that's really fast uh, the phone itself here let's have a look at that one um, let's pop it, pull that out and just unravel it I haven't actually turned it on to be fair because I recorded this video once and then messed it up so this is a second attempt um, because it's a bit windy today but you can see this glacial green this is a glacial green this by the way is a 12 um, gigabyte memory version with 256 gig of storage there is an 8 gig version with 128 gig of storage uh, this one the higher end um, 12 gig and 256 gig version is in this color only the other version is available in onyx black as well as this version uh, this color um, it's small uh, smaller and lighter than the 8 pro it's uh, basically 180 grams a bit of dust on there i should have fixed that uh, we've got this in display um, camera so this has got a lot of overlap with the 8 Pro, so I don't think this is the, you know, the, the one that you should avoid, because it's definitely not. I mean, this one's still got the Snapdragon uh, processor, the uh, 865 CPU, We've got the 5G um, chipset, that flexible, look. I mean, even with this on the back, it still looks really, really nice. So I, I'd advise keep this plastic... Uh, bumper on rubberized bumper on the back on on the phone you're going to really it still looks like a very beautiful phone even with this cover on there um, so we've got I'll show you around the phone um, so on the front we've got this 16 megapixel selfie camera which is the uh, in display version here it's a Sony lens I believe and on the back um, so yeah, it's hole punch they call this, a hole punch uh, selfie lens on the front there. This is a there's, there's, um, screen protector on there, which is where all this dust is coming from, but you can take that off. I'm going to leave it on this one because it's not mine, and I'm going to send this back. Um, so in here is a 4,300 milliamp hour battery, uh, which gets you from 0 to 50% in 22 minutes with that charger, as I mentioned. 
Uh, on the back is a 48 megapixel main Sony lens. And then we've got a 16 megapixel ultra wide shooter and a two megapixel macro lens. There's no real zoom, but you, you get 4K video, slow-mo, and it's not waterproof, sadly, but you do get um, Bluetooth 5.1. You get dual stereo speakers. I'll just show you this speaker at the bottom here. Hopefully you can see that in the camera. Is it going to focus on it? Let's have a look. So there's the external speaker there. There's USB-C charging. This is a SIM tray. Uh, obviously you've got the SIM removal tool in there. And we've got the volume control on the left here. You can see that. That's easy to find. It's right on the... Uh, it's very slender. And you can see, hopefully you can see how slender and beautiful this phone is. The reflection in the sunshine is gorgeous. Um, so on the right hand side we've got this three position switch here which changes it from vibrate uh, to silent and then to ring mode you just flick that it's easy to find and it's just one two three and we've got the power button to wake the screen or put it back to sleep and then we've got the secondary microphone up here at the top so that screen is an AMOLED 1080 by two 400 pixel uh, 402 ppi amoled screen running at 90 hertz that's the other difference between this and the 8 pro the 8 pro runs at 120 hertz this runs at 90 um, no wireless charging here um, unfortunately but like i say you get um, the 3d corning gorilla glass usb-c you get the dual stereo speakers bluetooth 5.1 which comes with um, aptx and aptx hd nfc gps dual by dual band uh, Wi-Fi and you get the 5G X55 chipset and the Adreno 650 GPU. You also get an in-display fingerprint sensor and um, the uh, 865 CPU. Alright so that's the um, OnePlus 8 and you can see here it, it really doesn't detract much putting this case on it. I must admit it looks very nice. reflection on that is really nice this is a higher end model so that's the one plus eight so we'll have a look at that in more detail in another video and in the full review